was sent a care package by Halitz, and one of the things they sent me was their my pen gel pen. Uh, I'm not a, a big user of gel pens, so I'm definitely not an expert. Um, which means that I will pass on this pen to Gourmet Pens, aka Aziza. Um, GourmetPens.com. She reviews all kinds of pens, but she knows everything about gel pens. So probably, if you want a more informed opinion of the pen, then you should check out her review at some point. Um, but for now, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Um, first of all, I think the design is cool. Helitz makes really nice, fresh-looking, clean pen designs uh, in, in nice colors. Here we have a sort of lime green and blue, which works very well. Uh, let's start with this end, uh, which is the, the, well, the, the, the refill tip emerges. Um, then we have this section. The blue material is rubbery, and the green is a hard plastic. Um, you see the Helitz logo there on top. And if you go on, then you get their nice open clip, which always reminds me a bit of a shield. Uh, and then you have nice ribs there, which make me remind me a little bit of a caterpillar. Uh, and then we have the clicker button. Okay, so it's a simple clicker. Um, one thing I'll show you is that here it actually says Helitz and my pen. What about the refills? Uh, you open up the pen barrel halfway through. And then there's one of their gel refills. And in fact, uh, Halitz was kind enough to hook me up with two of those refills as well. Um, what can I say about the pen? I mean, I think this is pretty much what I can tell you about the, the, the parts of the pen. It's not a fountain pen. There isn't a lot more to show you. I will show you a close-up of the tip for those of you who like to see that. Um, it's a gel pen and I have to say I was pleasantly surprised it's a very smooth writer and it gives uh, it came with a very nice blue ink which is a fairly dark blue looks pretty cool um, and I, I I like it I think it's a uh, it's it's most of these clicker pens are kind of um, uh, scratchy when you use them in my experience but this one is super smooth so um, I think that's what I can tell you about the parts. What I like about it, what do I not like about it? I like the writing, as I said, very smooth, very pleasant. It's a light pen. The section is really nice because of that rubbery material. You get a really good grip. This is something that I would really use for a couple of quick notes. You don't want to write for an hour, just a quick notes, grocery list, etc. It would be a great pen for that. Um, things I don't like about it, well, I mean, it's cool. It even has a clip that, that you can use. Well, it won't just come off as with a lot of these cheaper uh, plastic pens that have plastic clips that will break off. This is metal. Uh, it's nicely designed. Even here you see a nice bit of detail on the clip, uh, which I like. So uh, they really paid attention to, to the details on the pen. I think that's that's great. Things I don't like about it, well, it's not a fountain pen, um, but hey, if you need to take some quick notes, I think this is a great alternative, and this is definitely pleasant enough. Even, for example, for taking lecture notes, it's a very smooth writer, it's very light, it won't tire your hand, and it will just give you a consistent ink flow without skipping or skidding. So I think it's a very cool option. I think we need to take a few measurements. Um, I just dropped another pen. These things happen when you're a pen reviewer. Uh, yeah. So with the button completely extended, the clicker button, it's 144, about 144.5 millimeters. Um, yeah, and uncapped, of course, there is no uncapped. But with the button operated and the tip sticking out, it's 143. Section diameter, it's tapered. Um, but let me see, where would I hold it? About there. Then we come to about uh, a good 10 millimeters. Um, so it's about a centimeter in diameter. Uh, and that varies a little bit. Let me see. All the way near the bottom, it's about 9, I'd say 9.8. And then all the way near the top, it's about 13 millimeters. So it depends a little bit on how high you hold it. Now, when it comes to weighing the pen, the reason I bend over is that my scale is on the floor. 16 grams, um, so a light pen. Okay, I would very much like to thank Halitz for sending me this pen. It's a cool pen. I definitely like using it. Um, so thanks. 
guys, I hope this was useful. We're not going to do a writing sample, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, guys, let's look at this Herlitz. My pen. Gel pen. Uh, the ink is, of course, what came in the refill that's in there. Um, I would say that this is a very nice, smooth gel pen. Um, right now, I'm writing on Clairefontaine paper, which is very smooth, but I just don't feel any resistance. It's a completely different experience from your average ballpoint, which is a very pleasant experience, I might add. Um, fast writing. You really need very little pressure for this to write well. And there just is no skipping. There was a little bit there, but that was just me. So it's a very nice, consistent ink flow. You see that in these patches of ink too? Relatively wet, not super wet. Now when it comes to line variation, a little bit of pressure. will give a little bit of line variation. Obviously reverse writing makes no sense here because it's a round tip. Um, I would very much like to thank Herlitz for sending me this nice pen to try out. I hope this was an interesting review even though it was not a fountain pen and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.